What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we got Demon Slayer Season 3, Episodes 7 and 8. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon down below, as well as early access to the other shows we're watching. Please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section and subscribe. It helps the channel more than you guys know. Let's hop right on into today's episodes, Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 7 and 8. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 7, right where we left off, Tanjiro. About to cut off Han Tengu's head. Please, please, please. I know, it's like grating. Hatred? Oh, there's another one? There's six? That's more than anger. Hatred, that's another level. Why does he have the NL fucking drums on him? That's so sick. I just finished Skypea too. We can barely make an indent on his little head? Oh, he hits the drums just like NL, too. Not what I was expecting at all. I like the 3D camera work they got right now. Feels like I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Or I guess Tears of the Kingdom now. I gotta start that. Oh, shout out to Nezuko. Oh, she lost a leg for it. And an arm. Oh, yeah, let's see this new one. You're, you brutal fiends who torment the weak. What? That's literally you guys. Why does he look so much more gangster than the other ones? Oh, it's not? Oh, they combined? Into hatred. He raised both hands. Like some uh, overhaul shit. Shisaki from My Hero. It makes a new form on the fly. But thankfully, we don't have five demons to deal with. It is just him, but he might be as well be worth five demons. Watch, he's gonna like eat these. Bro, what is this bloodlust intimidation tactic he's got right now? They're all nerve-stricken. The voice, the force, the intimidation is so heavy. Oh, wow. Wowzers. Mm-hmm. What do you guys do? Talk your shit, Tanjiro. Right? You want to talk about hurting the weak? Fuck your shit, Tanjiro. You're twisted. Hell yeah. You just reaffirm this man's will and resolve. Talk about a transition. Now we cut over to Muichiro. I love that way that the moon is reflecting the water or how it looks. Are you going to run out of air soon, my boy? You good? The ancient Sengoku sword from 300 years ago that we need, Muichiro. We cannot let this guy do this. Low clouds, distant haze. I like how he thinks of Tanjiro. Like it's like the second or third time. 
he's thought of what Tanjiro would say or was gonna do, you know? So he's just using him as a butt because he knows Tanjiro says stuff, but he doesn't know who originally said that, you know? Could it be his brother, someone close to him? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I hate how many arms and hands he has, even though there's so miniature and little. I hope Kanamori doesn't die. He's a cool swordsmith so far. It's still ho he still has not stopped. He still has been doing it religiously. Oh my god, it looks a million times better. I wonder if Hotaru is going to be able to use that sword. Against, I don't know. We got to get it. The Moichiro get it to Tanjiro at some point. He just got fucked up and he literally doesn't care. Even his mask. His mask is fully gone. Oh my god! Homeboy is beautiful! Have we seen him without his mask before? I'm trying to think. Because they never take their masks off, right? Still thinking of Tanjiro as he's like losing consciousness. Damn. I, I do like how the water prison is like a, a vase itself, you know? That is why people make teams join together. There's only a limit to how much you can do on your own. Oh, shout out Kotetsu. I like the way they visualize the bubble in the prison though a lot. Is this another Gyoko art? Oh, that is potentially fatal. I'm praying Kotetsu is okay. Maybe Muichiro unlocks a new level because he needs to protect Kotetsu. I... Yeah. This is the most emotion I've ever heard out of Muichiro's voice. He's giving him air. Is that a thing that can work? You saved Kotetsu, he saves you. Who did that Tanjiro silhouette transition to? Who's this? Second form. The first form was a thrust. Eight layered mist. Ooh, beautiful. My father had the same eyes. That's dope. That is dope. Damn. How did you guys watch this week by week? I would be livid, man. All right, on to episode eight. Ooh. Oh, because they're poisoned, right? We still got this little fucking thing, too. Oh, these little fucking things. Now, on your feet. Come on. It's moving. Oh! We're cutting right to his actual flashback? A woodcutter. Ar Tanjiro's dad was a charcoal seller. Talk about a laborious job. <laughs> oh, their mother was sickly. Anytime I see a story like this or anything like that, I'm always thankful for modern medicine, you know? I may have my issues with the healthcare system and things like that, but it would be so horrible. 
having to deal with diseases back in the day, just doing not having no power to save your loved ones, you know. And he's trying to get the fresh herbs that she needs for her medicine. Oh, is that how our dad dies? It can't be a Demon Slayer backstory without being the most tragic thing ever. Damn. He had a twin brother. Yuichiro. Was that why the title of this episode is The Moo and Muichiro? And so Yuichiro was much more rigid in logic, you know? I mean, that's not a good way to say it. That's, I know, it's horrible. Can't be talking like that, I know. Damn. That was his way of dealing with it? Um, uh, most definitely were. Even the divide down the middle, looking opposite directions. Oh! She looks like uh, one of the master's, uh, like, lady helper friends. I don't know, you know? There's like, multiple of them. Master's wife. She came specifically for you guys? But Yuichiro was not having it. Amane. Lady Amane. Ah. Finally had enough. Wow. Wow. That's like one of those fights where I don't know if we can go back to the way we were before that kind of fight, you know? <laughs> I'm saying, that's kind of, that's one of those fights where it's solidified. Oh. Talk about a flash. And then instinctively, Yuichiro, oh my god. And I'm assuming Yuichiro is going to die and Yuichiro is going to be on the brink of death. Did he stab you through your brother? Or what's going on? I don't blame you for not remembering Yeah, because he has no Nichirin metal. This is like how Tanjiro was dealing with his like second or third demon, remember? He had it like st stuck to a tree until the sun came up. Oh my god. That's so gangster. If those are the last words out of Yuichiro, those are those are some nice words. Because no matter Damn man. And I feel like Oh, that's it's so sad and so tragic. And I said this earlier, but I feel like Yuichiro him being logical, rigid, angry, mean in a way, was his way of dealing with the, the situations thrown at him in the world, you know? 
like technically what he wasn't saying what he was saying isn't wrong you know like his mother theoretically after the herbs probably wouldn't have made it and she didn't you know it's like there are certain and what he's saying isn't wrong but that's not how kindness compassion works in this world and it was just his way of dealing with the you know trying to avoid that protect his brother there's so many complicated emotions that go into grief and then death and then processing and it's i want to say demon slayer handles it very well because like especially with the way they make it like i don't want to say exaggerated but with twins like literally on opposite ends of the spectrum it's it's goes to show how theoretically because the same person even though they're not the same person could handle death and grief in two different ways and you know it could i don't know very interesting and moving marichiro means meaningless this is so sad. Now we're back. He has his uh, sun breathing tattoos popping up. It means infinity. Get up. Get on your feet, Muichiro, just like your dad said. Bro, this guy, Otaru, gangster. He's so fast in those bases. So you're not inferior. And there's the actual sword Muichiro should be using. He really is all water themed. Otaru does not care. He is still gonna go back to sharpening using that whetstone. Beautiful. Is that Muichiro's new sword? Yes, it is. Destroy your demons. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I love the blue tint. A beautiful sword. I love the hilt. It's like a glove. Even more flashback. Let me get it. No one will. Damn, man. Shout out Mr. Tetsuido. I love how it's all muted up until he Oh my god, that was fucking beautiful. I love the way they animate the mist. Good dodges, great reaction. Yeah, he was doing it for his brother. Yep, yeah, I knew he was doing that to protect his brother. I know it's, it feels like, oh man, it's, it's really well done. This backstory is really well done. You can exert infinite strength. The Mu in Muichiro means infinite. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're one of the chosen ones. He can exert strength and kindness for others. God. Oh my God, the show is so good. All right. I have two more episodes until I'm caught up. Uh, I'm going to be doing those in another session. And then I'm going to be watching the last episode with you guys live. I am so excited. I am loving, loving, loving this right now. I need more Mitsuri. I'm assuming I'm going to be getting her in the next couple episodes. But everything with Muichiro. Everything. I'm loving. He's growing on me so much. I love the duality of him and his brother. And like, like I said, it's exaggerated. One is completely pure kindness. Completely pure empathy. One is nothing but rigid strict and, and, and no kindness whatsoever. 
but they fit that balance and Yuichiro was doing that like he said at the end I knew he was to protect his brother he dealt with the grief and sadness of losing his parents in his own way that he wanted to prevent that from happening to his brother so he you know it's it's a really realistic and really well done story and goddamn between that and then Genya and his brother's story and then I'm assuming we might get Hantangu Gyoko's Mitsuri story who knows bro this season has been going off so far the thing and I know I'm late on this season but to think we got this and then in a few weeks I'm going right from this to JJK and Mushoku Tensei like I got some good shit going on right now that's all I can say shouts out to everything shouts out this beautiful show uh I loved it. Backstory, R.I.P. the father, R.I.P. Muichiro's mother. I love his miss. Shout out, R.I.P. Mr. Tetsuido, his old swordsmith. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that because it's something that no, like like he was saying, he's one of the only ones besides like the master and Lady Amane who knows Muichiro's story. Like who knows your anxiety because he's so stoic. You know who who's gonna ever realize the anxiety you go through never remembering? Who's gonna know? You push yourself to your vomiting blood in order to, you know, it's like, damn. I don't Mr. Tetsuido. He's a real, ah, show's great. That's all I can say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Please subscribe. It means the world. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut, unedited versions, as well as early access to the other shows. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.